Damn. I'm not able to get to the phone right now. Damn. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh man. That man, that man finna be asleep. Bro, we was up at the party last night. Bro, the homie is like still asleep. He supposed to take his daughter to work, man. His ass is gonna be fucking his ass is gonna be fucking asleep. Uh we here for some SCP stuff. Can't wait for that. Uh we're here for SCP containment. SCP confinement. I've been calling it SCP containment since that shit came out. I don't know why y'all let me do this. I don't know why you let me be like this. Part of it is I just talk to you guys in voice chats and just listen to what you say so I don't fucking read it. That clearly is confinement. It don't fucking matter. So anyways, you know I be messing with my wife, right? She be telling me shit. She always wants me to say it's getting lit. So the homie on uh, Twitter was like, yo, Chavez say it's getting lit. So then I tweeted it's getting everything other than it's getting, it's getting fit. Rizzy said it's getting ripped. That's a fucking good one. That's a really good one. I'm really jack. Oh, my man Ferris out there for them hoes. Hell yeah. But it's getting slipped. Huh? That's a good one. It's getting slipped. Uh, it's getting tipped. It's getting tipped. It's getting dipped. Ah, that's a good one. So please, tweet at my wife. Everything other than it's getting lit. Anything else other than that. And as a matter of fact, it doesn't even have to rhyme. Or even better, you could just tell me and then I'll just tweet it to her. Uh, but anyways, uh, Confinement Episode 3. The Robot is what this one's called. Uh, the last one, The Forest. The one before that, um, Elephant Man. Is that what it's called? Elephant Man. Uh, very good. A little creepy, but good. The first one was very good. Not as creepy. second one, very creepy. Very good. This one's a little bit longer, too, uh, which is nice because we just got introduced to everybody, so I'm with it. All right, here we go. Play. Yes. Music is kind of creepy. Whew. When I watch, like, scary stuff, I like to know either that I'm alone or that somebody's home so I don't get startled. So I think I'm going to go just double check to make sure Skidden actually went to work because if she walks back in while I'm watching this, I'm going to fucking freak out. It's going to just, hold on. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Don't want to freak. Okay. Alright. It's funny. She was just now pulling out the driveway. So I literally looked like something was wrong. I was like, okay, bye. I'm like, okay, you just want to make sure. Get fucking scared. Okay, here we go. Just want to get fucking scared. Alright. Oh, did he get out? Oh, he's just in the room doing his thing. Are you collecting shit? That looks like a... I look like that shit from uh, Naruto, right? The Ten Tails or whatever? That's what I look like. What, a clipboard? Are you taking notes? <laughs> Fam. No! Oh! Is there a portal open up or something or what? Wait. Shit. Fifty-two steps west of the right mark. <sighs> ha! There we go. Yes, you've done it. My favorite clipboard. He found you, girl. He found you. Bro, there. Sorry about all the trouble, Connor. Assets upstairs told me that sending a task force into 093 to retrieve a lowly doctor's clipboard was a waste of time and resources. Fucking bureaucrats. What do they know about hard work? <laughs> Say, can I get a drink? Connor, bro. I'm so sorry, dude. Alcohol at three in the afternoon? What do I look like to you? Some stuck-up bureaucratic asswipe sipping champagne from my ivory tower? No. It was just a clipboard, man. Get off your fucking high horse. Ooh. I was thinking more like water. Oh. Well, I only have champagne, but you can't have any. You've got another test in 10 minutes. Seriously? I thought this was the last one for today. You have to see a Mr. Pierce at the robotics center. Sorry, kid, I don't make the rules. Fucking bureaucrats do. Better get a move on. <laughs> the irony, I love it. It appears the escaped child SCP known for her insatiable appetite for porcelain trinkets has just been apprehended after using a teapot to murder Patterson Walmer, oh. the owner of the third floor 99 cent store. Yes, this is the first documented case of a knick-knack paddywhack. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> That's beautiful. Ah, hello. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Mr. Pierce from the Department of Internal Negotiations What's up, and Pierce? Unanimous Settlements. Or Dingus for short. Ah, Follow me, Mr. Connor. God, this is perfect. Place. Wait, this episode so far hey, is fellas, so dense, I'm it's back. great. This is Mr. Connor, the gentleman with regenerative immortality. He's the one that turned into a log during that double breach last week. No way. Dude, no way. Yeah, way. Connor, yeah, way. what do you know about the Anderson Robotics Company? They're probably blacklisted from the internet cafe, so not much. Well, it's a very secretive organization that builds machines with anomalous and unusual properties. They have support from very powerful people in laboratories all over the U.S., China, and that uh, country next to Sweden. Dude, Norway? That's the one. There's a fellow in there from the company that refuses to speak with us unless we have an immortal being present. Weird, I know. My guess is that he wants to bargain in one way or another. That's why I'm here. So whatever you do, don't say a word. This is very suspicious, but you know what? Our man's gonna go through with it. So, who cares? Open the door, Good luck. fellas. Good luck. How are you feeling today, 1360? I am well. I presume you wish to discuss the bargain. If you feel like it. Confirmed. I desire to obtain the likeness and abilities of this individual, Mr. Connor. A perfect organism oh, with no. remarkable durability and physique. I'm sh well, thank you. Personally, I'd make improvements to hygiene standards, but that's just me. <laughs> In return, I can give you six terabytes of priceless information from the Anderson Robotics Company, including their schematics, partnerships, and future plans. That's it? You're, you're trading this man's life and immortality just to compete with another business company? It's almost like they're a heartless foundation. Almost. I see. Now, hypothetically, if you were to essentially become a Connor 2.0, there's a bit of robot slag for you, you would still be classified at SCP and kept here against your will. Do you understand that? Absolutely. I am counting on it. I simply wish to experience the sensation of life without the burden of death. In the laboratories, I am reduced to a sliver of meaningless tasks and trials, haunted with sudden and daily intervals of endless darkness. Okay, Word. Okay, Goddard, what are your thoughts? How are you so depressed as a fucking robot? That's crazy. I, um, I wasn't paying attention. Nice. Okay, <laughs> 1360, that's a mighty fine offer, but I do see one or two problems with it. Elaborate. We have no idea how to extract Connor's anomalous ability from his body to put into a surrogate body for you. We can, however, give you a normal human surrogate. We've got loads of corpses here. It's true. I think you misunderstand. I desire to be able to inhabit Connor's current body I knew and it. have complete access to his brain and I knew it. nervous system while his consciousness remains suppressed. Yeah, I knew it. That, I, I, I thought that was completely obvious from the start. I love how they, they wrote that in. That made me cast doubt, but that's what he wanted. But no, yeah, he wants to be you, bro. Excuse me? Well, now you see, that complicates things a bit. How so? <laughs> How so? <laughs> Connor is valuable to the Foundation. That's right! Ooh. Damn. Besides, we happen to know that when an Anderson Robotics product is sold, it has its memory completely wiped. Thought you could outsmart the biggest dingus in the room? So what top secret information could you possibly have given us anyhow? Are you insisting that I am dishonest? Ooh. No, just he is. Ooh. I anticipated the memory wipe, which is why I saved it on an external drive. Perhaps this will change your mind. Sorry, buddy, I'm not for sale. Connor, Connor, let me do the talking. Uh -oh. I'll take a look at this to make sure it's legitimate. Uh-oh. Mr. Pierce, you're considering this? Now, now, Connor, I'm just taking a gander. Won't be two seconds. Ah, uh, that was com- Oh. My. Lord. God. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is bad. That's- this is bad. Yep. It's a flesh door, bro. The difference between you and I, Connor... Oh, Jesus. ...is that I was able to escape my captors. Okay, this is getting freaky. Oh, man, it's got a text message that scared the shit out of me. Oh, man. You should be grateful for this I'm offer. freaking out. Yeah, no, no, not I'm really. I'm freaking out. You're never going to leave this laboratory, God Connor. damn it. I am offering the only escape you could ever hope to witchy. Oh, man. Get away. 
Oh shit! Connor, stop! Stop moving! Connor! Oh, Connor! Please! I don't understand. Oh! Oh, Connor! And if he's strangling you with your self, are you winning? Is he winning the fight? Mr. Connor. Yo, beat his ass, Connor. Fuck him up, bro. Ooh. What is that? Five, zero, three, one. The prodigal son. What is that? Mr. Anderson. Ah, Anderson. This is not where you belong. You cannot hide from us here, or there, what? or anywhere. What? I will give you one last chance to surrender. Oh, this is... And return to the laboratory. Oh, shit. Ah, that's a shame. Oh! There was so much happening here. Dude, no way. I mean, he is in jail. That was dope. So... That was amazing. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, continued support. And uh, it was just me exploring the SCP Foundation and uh, calling it containment when it's confinement. I don't know. I mean, it was basically the same thing, but it's not the same thing. There's a lot happening uh, with this one. The battery's dying. We've been shooting for a while. It's pretty early in the morning, so we should probably head to bed. So I won't. Uh, but uh, 093 was the main one here. Oh, no. 093 is the. One at the very start. There we go. The fully articulate android, 1360. Its body is composed of more molded polycarbonate casting and aluminum frame. The casting is covered with black, uh, black fabric, unknown. It has steel tools in its fingers and it's intelligent. It claims to feel pain, even though it doesn't have a nervous system. A uh, following the fourth failed escape attempt, the following note was found in 1360's cell. Return signal terminated. We're better off keeping you where you are. We're sorry, number 31, Anderson. It ceased all communication with the Foundation personnel. In addition, SCP-1360 has also ceased all resistance to containment. And SCP-1360-1 collection. So that's very good, dude. The, 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 the confinement series is getting better and better and deeper and deeper. And uh, I can't believe actually how good it is. We'll move on to episode four in another time. But thank you guys so much. We're, we'll try to get these all up back to back to back. So you won't have to wait like I'm waiting. And uh, yeah, dude, I can't wait for more. I think I'm going to do SCP-001. And uh, I don't know. There's another one I'm, I might take the gander at. But uh, in the meantime, y'all take it easy. Peace.